realize that one third of our country is below sea level and another third is the risk of flooding, uh, then you immediately realize that it's always on our mind. We are now already uh, protected for uh, a sea level rise of one meter, uh, but we of course follow closely the new reports uh, of IPCC and see whether we have to take measures for even higher sea level rise than one meter. piece of land that is reclaimed from a body of water and lies below the sea level. It is always circumvented by a dike or sometimes partially circumvented to keep water out from either the sea or river. Within a polder, there will be an extensive network of drainage canals to contain excess water and take it to an exit point, because if you don't, water will run over land. Pumps are also needed to get the water out and back into the surrounding sea or river. We live in a delta, uh, so uh, the Dutch people, it's in their DNA uh, to work and live with water. So we have uh, started a long uh, time ago with the polders, uh, so we created new land where there used to be uh, water uh, first, and we built dikes and also made use of dunes uh, to make sure that we uh, all keep our feet dry. Delftland, which is located between the cities of Rotterdam and Delft. According to the expert who brought me here, this area is at least three meters below sea level and it used to be just swamps. Polders may be a foreign concept for many of us back in Singapore, but it is very much the way of life here in the Netherlands, given how um, more than one third of the country lies below the sea level. Now, polders can be used for uh, many purposes along our way here. Um, I see many, many residential houses, farms, uh, industrial factories, and even recreational areas. Behind me, you can see many, many houses and they are located on land that is three meters below the sea level. And the whole uh, key thing that's keeping the polder dry is the building in blue over there, that's the pumping station. And that's the station that keeps the whole uh, polder area dry and manages the water uh, levels here in the polder. So basically what it does is just, it just keeps pumping water out of the polder and channels it into the canal. polder land, I think four meters below uh, sea level. This is one of the smallest locks, sluices in the Netherlands. You see in a moment what the water level difference between this canal is and the upper canal where it can be pumped to. This is the retention area made by uh, the water board of Delfland to uh, have water temporarily stored in case they need storage in the main canal systems. Farmers here, of course, uh, have to move out their uh, cattle, their sheep, the cows, and will be compensated for it. Fortunately, we don't need it yet, or that often yet, but in the future, that may become different. Here you see also the traditional windmill, which we used in the past to bring water, to pump water up one level. There are places in the Netherlands where you see a whole row of these windmills to pump water from states to states up to sea level at the end. 